Well, let's move on to other news now. And Donald Trump may be in the middle of his first of the many criminal trials, but that has not stopped the former U.S. president from uh, forging ahead with his bid for the upcoming presidential elections this November. The weekend saw Trump organize a fundraiser in Palm Beach in Florida that also served as what many call an audition for the vice presidential nominee. Now, what has been a quiet campaign for months now appears to be gathering momentum. Over the weekend, Trump gathered hundreds of donors and prominent Republican lawmakers in Florida. It was also the first time that potential vice presidential candidates were reportedly scrutinized by Trump's backers, donors and the returning presidential candidates' teams as well. The list of Trump's VP contenders include Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, J.D. Vance of Ohio and Tim Scott from South Carolina. Among the U.S. Congress representatives are, the, are Elise Stefanik of New York and Brian Donalds of Florida. Also on the list of potential candidates to be um, second in command are Governors Doug Burgum of North Dakota and Christy Noem of South Dakota. Several officials from the Republican camp and political analysts have pegged Rubio. Vance and Scott as the top contenders for the vice president's position. However, it will be weeks before Trump makes any announcement on the choice. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.